For years, you've heard me make the case that Ted Simmons should be in the Hall of Fame. Not anymore. Simba is in Cooperstown, and he was eloquent at the doorstep. Corey Miller takes a look at Simmons' date with baseball history. He's their leader, and he's the guy who can hit that ball a country mile for him. When the St. Louis Cardinals selected me first in the June 1967 draft, they brought me into their historic and very successful baseball family. I have lived within many families and am about to step into baseball's most elite family. And I am incredibly humbled. On Wednesday, Ted Lyle Simmons from Highland Park, Michigan became a baseball Hall of Famer. The hair was still immaculate, the speech was articulated as only Simmons could, and the respect for his journey to get to Cooperstown was on full display. It was a journey that took him 27 years since he was first eligible. After falling off the ballot in his first year in 1994, the Modern Era Committee righted one of the most glaring wrongs of the Hall of Fame in 2020. Then came the pandemic, and Simmons had to wait again for his special day to arrive. But on the Cooperstown stage on Wednesday, there was no bemoaning the wait. There was an appreciation for the journey. There are many roads to Cooperstown. One look at this very special group behind me makes that clear. For some, it comes quickly, and for others, it takes a little time. For those like myself, the path is long, and even though my path fell on the longer side, I would not change a thing. Simmons' place in baseball and Cardinals history is cemented. He's got a bronze statue outside Bush Stadium, his number retired by the team, and finally a place in Cooperstown alongside the all-time greats at his position. Simba enters the hall as the greatest switch hitting catcher ever. He has the second most doubles, hits, and RBIs at the position all time. And now his plaque will hang in baseball's most hallowed halls forever. It may have been a long and winding road for Simmons, but he made it. I'll let the man himself sign off with a special thank you to his wife, Mary Ann. She remains the same girl that listened with me not so long ago to the lyrics written by some pretty fabulous folks back in the day. And those words, and in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Peace and love, sweetheart. We finally got here. Thank you all. In St. Louis, Corey Miller, 500 side sports.